Hello and welcome to Skills and Trade. In today's exciting video, we learn how to sand and polish an aluminum plate to a mere finish. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is take some WD-40 and I'm gonna spray some on our aluminum plate to act as lubricant or our sandpaper. So now it's time for the 220 grit sandpaper. So we're gonna take this sandpaper and place it on our hook-it pad. All right, so now that we have that taken care of, it's time to start sanding. All right, the key to sanding is to uh, move in a uniform fashion and not to spend too much time in one spot or area when you're getting rid of all the scratches and pits that are in the metal, or else you'll create divots that will be very noticeable when you're done sanding. Now, this is the step that takes the longest amount of time because you have to be very thorough. You have to make sure you get all the scratches out, you have to make sure you get all the pits out, because if you don't, you'll have to go back and resend it anyway, which is a waste of time and sandpaper. Especially when you notice your mistake when you're at a much higher grit sandpaper, which means you gotta start all over at the beginning. Now that we have the 220 grit sandpaper out of the way, it's time we move up to the 400 grit sandpaper. Now the 400 is more fine than the 220, but it still has enough grit that you can still get rid of any scratches or divots that may have been left behind during our previous step. So we're gonna finish out our step by placing our 400 grit sandpaper on our interface pad. And the interface pad allows us to keep our hook it pad completely flat, which allows for a much smoother finish. Now it's time for our 800 grit sandpaper. Like our 400 grit sandpaper before it, we're gonna place it on our interface pad. And this will allow us to have a smooth finish. Now it's time for our 1500 grit sandpaper. It's at this step that our aluminum plate is looking more and more like a mirror. So like our 800 before it, we're simply gonna place our 1500 grit sandpaper on our interface pad, place it on our hook it pad, and in a slow, uniform fashion, we're gonna sand every inch of this aluminum plate. So now it's time for our 3000 grit sandpaper. Now, this is the same 3000 grit sandpaper that I used previously in my other video, the uh, how to sand and polish aluminum rim. And so that's why it looks a little worn. But what you're gonna need to do is spray a little bit of WD-40 on the 3000 grit sandpaper so it can flow really easily and leave behind a really nice smooth finish. And I got about halfway through sanding this plate with, the, with this sandpaper and I noticed it started to burn a little bit, so I switched it out with a brand new one. And now finally, we are ready for our 5,000 grit sandpaper. So like the 3,000 grit sandpaper before, we're just gonna place it directly on our hook it pad. And then we're gonna spray a little bit of WD-40 onto our sandpaper. And in a slow, uniform fashion, we are gonna sand every inch of this aluminum plate. All right, so now that I have the sanding taken care of, it's time to polish. So I'm gonna take my Gord's aluminum polish and my steel wool, which is rated very fine, and I'm gonna place a little bit of polish onto the steel wool, and then I'm gonna rub it into the metal until it's as black as possible. Now it's time to buff out this polish. So I'm gonna take my W9006 foam finishing pad and place it on our hook it pad. So we're gonna barely hold down the trigger on our drill and slowly work in this polish. Because I'm a perfectionist, I've decided to do a second coat of polish to really turn this aluminum plate into a mirror.
Now that we're all done polishing, it's time to grab some paper towels and wipe down this aluminum plate for any polish that we may have missed while we're buffing. Wow, so it certainly does look like a mirror now. And I just want to thank you all so very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos. Please leave a comment down in the comment box and have a wonderful day.